Are you wanting to create videos, but you're hesitant to talk on camera? People are hesitant to talk on camera for many reasons. Maybe you don't like hearing your own voice recorded. Maybe it sounds very strange to you. Maybe English is your second language. It's something that you're not comfortable with your speaking skills for English, but you want to uh, create videos and share your knowledge with others. What I'm going to show you is how to create a script, and I've created a script using Copilot uh, for your video, and then having the AI voices in ClipChamp speak the script so you don't have to speak it. Let me show you how to do that. To create my video, I'm first going to go into ClipChamp. Once I'm in ClipChamp, I'm going to choose blank video. This opens up into the ClipChamp interface, and I'm now going to select Record and Create. Before I do anything else here, I'm going to move over to Copilot, and I'm going to author a script, creating a video of two people discussing the benefits of using video. I've named the two friends Ava and Davis, and most importantly, I've said, do not include any direction or reaction in the video script. Otherwise, you may get things that are uh, writing a script as though the characters will be real and in front of a camera. So I'm going to go ahead and execute that. And now Copilot is writing my script for me and making it really easy to author my, uh, my video, create my video. So I'm going to go and copy that. And I'm going to take that information and move back over into ClipChamp. Now I'm going to go to the text to speech option here. And I'm going to go over to the right hand side and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste the script into the window for text. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. I'm going to start deleting some of these areas. The thing I'm going to delete is when Ava speaks first, then Davis speaks and then Ava speaks. And so I'm gonna do that really quickly. Now I've taken out the names of when each person speaks. One thing I am going to do here is, this is a slightly a little bit of a tip that's specific to the voice that I'm gonna use called Davis. I'm going to eliminate this comma, absolutely comma Ava. And so when the voice Davis says a comma, it's an unnatural pause. It doesn't sound like the sentence is flowing. So I'm going to delete that comma out of any type of uh, uh, information where uh, Davis is going to be the one talking. So this is Davis. Here, there's not, uh, there's a comma. I'm gonna take a comma out there, even though it's not grammatically correct. There we go. Now that I have my script entered here, I'm gonna select one of the voices. The very first voice I want to use is one called Ava. Not Ava multilingual, but I'm gonna move down to where I find Ava. This to me is probably the best voice in the entire uh, ClipChamp AI voices. This is a fantastic voice, fantastic inflection, pronunciation, hesitance when there's a comma. Um, it sounds just fantastic. So. I'm gonna do that. The next thing I wanna show you is this advanced settings area. And one thing I'm going to do to Ava is I'm going to bump her up from her speed from a 1.x to a 1.1. And it doesn't say 1.1, but you can see I'm just one off of the middle. That speeds up her pace just a little bit, makes the audio sound just a little bit better. I'm gonna close that window down and let me listen to a preview. Hey Davis, have you noticed how much easier it is to learn new software with video tutorials? Absolutely, Ava. The visual aspect makes it so much more engaging. So that's the Ava voice. It sounds super fantastic. So I'm gonna take Ava and I'm gonna save her video. When I hit save, it's gonna take that, transform it into text for the video and from text, I'm sorry, from text into uh, speech. And so that's gonna place it there. Now the next step I'm going to do is a, a little bit uh, uh, different. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go ahead and export this part of the video and I'm going to save it as the Ava voice. And I'm gonna save that to my hard drive as an MP4 file. So um, I'm gonna take that, move it off into a different area. 
All right, so now my video is ready and I'm going to choose to save it to my computer and I'm gonna save it in one of my folders here. There we go. So I've saved that Ava voice off into my computer. Now I'm gonna go back and choose keep editing. And what I want to do is make this same exact text-to-speech. I'm gonna go click on text-to-speech. I wanna make the same exact thing in the Davis voice. So I'm just gonna go back in, choose Davis, which is right there. And now I want to go and make sure in the advanced settings that he is still a 1.1, 1 .1, so that's, that's gonna be a nice pace. Here I can change the emotion of Davis and the vocal pitch. The emotion was not something I could do with Ava, but I can do that with Davis. I'm gonna choose not to, and I'm just gonna leave Davis the way that he is. All right, so now I'm going to uh, close up that advanced settings, and I'm going to listen to the Davis setting. Hey Davis, have you noticed how much easier it is to learn new software with video tutorials? Absolutely, Ava. So that sounds really good too. So now I'm going to take Davis, and I'm going to save that off to, uh, to modify this area here. There we go. So now this is Davis. So let me show you my timeline. Hey Davis, have you noticed how much easier... So just to keep things equal, I'm also going to export the Davis voice to an MP4. This is mostly just a uh, confirmation that I have a version of it for Davis and a version of it for Ava. So let me export that. All right, that's finished exporting. I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my computer. All right, now that's saved to my computer, I'm gonna go back to keep editing. Now I know that this is the Davis voice, so I'm going to choose to import the media of the Ava voice to put the MP4 back into this uh, area here. So I'm gonna choose import media, browse files. There we go. So this is the Davis voice, this is the Ava voice. So now I'm gonna add the Ava voice into my timeline by clicking the plus sign here. And so I have uh, Davis there and I have Ava voice there. So when I play this now, you'll actually hear both voices speaking over the top of one another. Davis, have you, have noticed, you noticed how much, how much easier, easier it is to learn? learn? So uh, eventually this is gonna be a conversation. I'm gonna hold down the control key and I'm gonna zoom out with my mouse. I'm gonna scroll down the scroll wheel. And one thing I want you to notice, you would think the voices would be synced up, but one of them speaks faster than the other, even though I'm at 1.1 on both. So you see that Davis is a little bit longer than Ava. So I'm just gonna take Davis and I'm gonna move him over, move him out of the way, and I'm going to listen to Ava. When I listen to Ava, each time she finishes one of the lines, I'm going to hit the letter S. And so I'm gonna follow along with my script and when she gets to the end of her line, I'm gonna hit the letter S and splice the, uh, splice the audio into sections. So let me do that and I'll show you what I'm doing. And I'll say the word S uh, for the, or if that's a word, I'll say the letter S for the first two uh, or three times and then I'll just run through the rest of it really quickly. So let me hit play. Hey Davis, have you noticed how much easier it is to learn new software with video tutorials? Yes. Absolutely, Ava. The visual aspect makes it so much more engaging. You can actually see the functions in action rather than just reading about them, yes. right? And it's not just watching someone else do it. Many video tutorials include on-screen prompts that guide you while you try out the features yourself. Yes. That's a so now I have started to capture the Ava piece and I've spliced up her voice. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of Ava. I'm going to do the same exercise with Davis and just for the sake of time, I'm gonna run through this without you listening to, uh, to each of the different uh, pieces of the script. All right, so now I've completed the Davis and the Ava. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six different clips. And for Davis, I have the same number. Now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the uh, Ava clips here, and I'm gonna move those out of the way. I'm gonna space them out just a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna move the first clip, second clip, so all I'm doing here is moving the clips underneath the sections. 
So they're both saying the same things in here. Now the first person to speak is Ava. So I wanna keep that Ava piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the Davis piece. I'm gonna click one. All right, so now when Ava speaks, Davis is gonna respond. So because Davis responds, I don't need this clip. Now Davis has responded, Ava's gonna talk, I don't need this clip. I'm gonna go on down the line alternating the clips like that. All right, so now we've got the conversation that's happening. Ava's going to say three things, Davis will say three things. And now I'm just gonna align those up and bump it when it gets a purple line. That means they're butted right up against one another. Fantastic. Now I have a conversation between the two AI voices of my script. So that was pretty simple. That was pretty straightforward. So this is what it sounds like, and this is what I've created. So I'm just gonna hit play here. Hey Davis, have you noticed how much easier it is to learn new software with video tutorials? Absolutely, Ava. The visual aspect makes it so much more engaging. You can actually see the functions in action rather than just reading about them. Right, and it's not just watching someone else do it. So that's my clip champ. AI voices talking to one another. And you can see from the time you spent watching this video, it took me almost no time, including writing the script. It's a very short script, of course, but uh, writing the script, having Copilot write that for me, me describing what I wanted, and then putting that into the, uh, the AI um, hey, area, the text-to-speech here. Uh, yeah, who is this? It's Ava. I just want to say thanks for providing a great example of how to use AI voices to make videos in ClipChamp. Uh, sure, you bet. Can I have control of the mouse again? Sure thing. Your videos are really great. I think this one is one of your best yet. Okay then, see you later, and keep creating. Well, all right then. Thank you. So now if I want to add Ava to have a final comment, I could always go back in and choose to uh, add another uh, element to this and just add the Ava back in or the Davis piece. So very easy to create videos using an AI voice. The thing to remember about this is no two people have ever had that conversation before. It's just AI voices that sound as though it's a conversation. Now these AI voices both exist. Now I can put video clips over the top of them. I could just save this and treat it somewhat as a podcast or an explainer video, or maybe a set of instructions. One thing I want to add is the ability to make this like more like a real video. And so I want to create um, more of an ambiance using music. And so here I have my voice and these are the two voices uh, here. I'm just gonna take those. I'm gonna move them out of the way a little bit and that'll become obvious here in just a second. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. Now on a new track, I'm going to add some music. So I'm gonna choose this music and SFX or special effects there. And I'm gonna scroll down to a piece of music called Bounce Back. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. So there's Bounce Back. So let me play Bounce Back. All right, that sounds pretty good. Now I'm gonna add that to my timeline. So now you can see it's actually put it in between the two. I wanna move that music down underneath Davis. So I just grabbed it and pulled it down with my mouse. Now, one thing I wanna do is kind of introduce the video with some music. So I'm gonna start it at the beginning and right at the proper spot, let me scroll all the way to the beginning. Right at the proper spot, I want to make a splice, and you'll see why in just a moment. So I'm gonna hit the play button. There, so I've added a splice just at that beginning. That's where I want my conversation to begin. All right, so I'm gonna pull back my voice. I'm gonna start Ava right at that spot where I marked and did a split. And I'll show you why I did a split here right now. So what I'm gonna do is take this, this is the very first clip, the, the bounce back music, let me move this out of the way, the playhead. 
And so there's the bounce back music is the second half and the first half. It's still all one song, I just have a break. And the reason for that is I wanna change something about the audio. So I'm gonna go over here to fade and choose to fade out over a 1.6, well, let me just make it a 1.8 seconds. So this is gonna fade out at 1.8 seconds. I'm gonna take this clip and I'm just gonna turn the volume down. So to do that, I'm gonna choose audio and I'm gonna choose this as about a eight, eight percent. And so this 8% or, well, it's 9%. This 9% is going to keep this entire clip. It's going to do what's called ducking underneath the voices. And so this is what it sounds like now with the, uh, with the music added. Hey Davis, have you noticed how much easier it is to learn new software with video tutorials? Absolutely, Ava. The visual aspect makes so that sounds really really good it changes the the uh the feeling of the video quite a bit and it uh allows that music to be there but be underneath the voices so that you can hear the voices if i needed to turn that uh, volume up on the voices i could also click on those individually or i could highlight them all and turn the volume up i hope you enjoyed this video about clipchamp and the ai voices that it provides out of the box a really great capability that usually with other products you need to pay for, uh, but with ClipChamp is just included as part of the product. If you've enjoyed this video and I have many other videos, like and subscribe to my channel. I post uh, on a regular basis. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.